How's it going folks? Welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. And we are back on Tatooine. So we're guided by the force, we've got to find this crashed ship. While attempting to contact the Jedi Council, you saw a vision of your dead Jedi Master, August Din. We, he warned you of a deadly new enemy, and told you of an important Jedi ally who crashed on Tatooine. You've arrived on Tatooine, search for the Jedi's crash site in Jundland. <laughs> it must be funny. It must be funny to watch a Jedi Master just walking around in bloody circles. Is it? Is it that? Is it? Oh, wait, no, that. Where, oh, wait, where, where is it? Where are we going? And it's not like Hero was just standing there watching me going, he'll, he'll get it eventually. She was there. She was right there with me. She had no idea where to go either. Okay. Uh, don't need to do that, because that, we already did, it's a repeatable quest. Although, you know what, it should show up, like it should, should be a different colour, because we've done it already, like it should be blue or something. Blue or green or some other colour, so you know you've done it before. Alright, anyway, uh, we need to go. So it said go to Jundland, but... No, ah, let's just go. Let's just go for a ride then. Fine. Oh, jeez. Was that there before? Vehicle pads are currently open for business. So we got to go over here to the Dreviad. Pleasant stay. Dreviad outpost. I don't know why it's just not lit up, but. We'll get there a little bit quicker. We'll never understand Tatooine settlers. We live in a giant wasteland. Let's build everything really far apart. Crazy, I know. Hang on, hang on a second. It's not going with the frick. <laughs> it's over here. The quest tracking is kind of strange at times. How it works. Okay, so we have to go up and around over there. I don't understand why it doesn't just show up on the map the second I pull up the map. What the hell? Oh, that's right, because there are all these walls around here. So she's got to get on the outside of it. Over here. Watch out for the Womp Rats. So we spent we spent a bit of time here. I was pretty thorough in exploring, but I think we went to certain areas and then it was just like Imperial. Uh, weapons and guns and cannons everywhere, so I couldn't really proceed any further. But we did do the story arc, the... Um, planet story and that bonus quest line. So hopefully, but when you look at the map, it's like, oh man, there must be there's heaps more to explore. There's all this, right? Heaps more to see. Maybe not. <laughs> The noxious rill. All oh, right. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind, if you wouldn't mind giving me a few heals, no wonder they were dropping so quick, though. But I too was about to drop quick. It's a 
defeat the harrowers. Dual bladed. down. Oh, it's like a robot. It's a droid of some sort. Is that right? It looks like it. It's all cyborg. Drop these lightsaber. Another one to add to our collection. Upon arriving at the crash site, you encountered Harrowers approaching the Jedi's crash ship. Take out Harrowers. Okay. One more over there. Looks like the final one. There, good as new. <laughs> What is he doing? Oh, it's okay, it's Kira. He's just taking our time out there. Joma Chul. I know your face. The one who defeated Darth Angrel. The hero of Tython. That's a uh, heroes of Tython. I fought Darth Angrel too. My mission was a secret. No one knew where I was. How did you find me? First tell me about these Sith. They're like nothing I've encountered before. Abominations of the dark side. The Emperor's personal assassins. Under the circumstances, I think we had better contact my superiors. It almost repaired my hollow before the Sith ambushed me. Jomar! Where are you? Masters, I completed my mission, but Sith assassins shot down my vessel over Tatooine. The hero of Tython just rescued me. An impossible coincidence. The Force wants our mission to succeed, Master Satya. This is proof. I knew he was the nexus of our fates, but events are transpiring faster than I foresaw. We never get a break, but you can always count on me. Jomar, the medical shuttle is en route. Before it arrives, give your rescue at the sensor logs you recorded. Bring us those logs immediately. We'll explain everything when you're on Typhon. This burden is now yours. Guard it with your life. Go. Hurry. This area is dangerous. I'll stay until the medical shuttle arrives. What I've given you cannot wait. We'll meet again on Typhon. May the Force be with you. I brought the sensor logs, Master Satil. I'm sure you have many questions. Master Tol Braga will answer them. It's good to finally meet you in person. They say you're the greatest Jedi the Order has seen in generations. I believe the Force has guided you to me. Together, we'll defeat the Empire. Restoring peace to the galaxy is the reason I became a Jedi. 
I'm organizing a top secret strike team of our best and brightest, Jedi who don't know the meaning of failure. Twice, you've saved the Jedi Order from destruction. Bengal Moore and Darth Engel were formidable opponents. Now I ask you to confront the ultimate evil and help me capture the Sith Emperor. You don't dream small, do you, Master? There's an ancient fortress orbiting the Imperial homeworld, Droman Kaas. It's hidden by a powerful cloaking device. The Emperor rules his people from this cloaked fortress. Not even the highest-ranking Sith can find him. But we're going to locate that fortress, get inside it, and seize the Emperor. If there's a way to achieve these goals, we must find it. We've already made great strides toward our objective. The man you saved on Tatooine scouted the Drummond Kaas system. His sensor logs will help us plan this assault. We'll plot a hyperspace route through the Imperial Navy's defenses. Slip right past them. Other members of my strike team are uncovering ways to pierce the cloaking device and defeat the security around the Emperor's fortress. I could use your expertise on Dalmora. The Empire and Republic are at war there and the fighting has endangered our mission. My ship's ready for departure. Tell your people, I'm on my way. We've placed great responsibility on you, but I know you won't fail us. Contact your fellow strike team member Warren Sodoro when you reach Balmora. He'll explain the mission. We're going to save the galaxy. May the Force be with us. Master Braga told me you were coming. Warren Sodoro, a pleasure. I'm grateful for your assistance. The situation is growing desperate. The Republic picked an unfortunate time to drive the Empire off Balmora. It's made our team's mission that much harder. Military reinforcements ought to make our job easier, not harder. My strengths lie in observation, subtlety, and negotiation. Not exactly welcome talents on the battlefield. Balmora is home to the largest weapon manufacturing plants in the galaxy. Half the munitions used in the last war originated on this world. The Empire develops horrific new instruments of destruction here. Balmora's creations have killed countless innocents. Even from orbit, I feel the death and darkness pervading this planet. Balmora's despair is palpable, but we must work through it. We've learned the Empire has a cloaking device prototype at one of Balmora's advanced weapon factories. It's the same technology hiding the Emperor's fortress. If we obtain that cloaking device prototype, we can understand how it works, develop a way to see through it. How did the Empire develop cloaking device technology? They didn't. Intelligence indicates the prototype is alien in design. Possibly Rakata or Gree. Finding the cloaking device prototype is almost impossible thanks to the invasion. We need experienced native guides to sort through the chaos. Balmora has a well-established civilian resistance. Their spy network's knowledge of the Empire would be invaluable. Your tone indicates there's a complication. War breeds chaos. Chaos breeds confusion. And confusion breeds mistrust. Unfortunately, the Resistance doesn't trust the Republic. Despite my best negotiations, they remain uncooperative. Can't say I blame them. The Empire's driven us off this planet twice already, leaving the Resistance holding the bag. Republic Command just intercepted a distress call. A Resistance medical facility is about to be overrun. I'd go, but an Imperial armor column's in my way. I need you to save that medical facility. I'll break that siege. Where am I going? I'm sending the medical facility's location. I don't know what you'll be facing there, but do whatever you must to save the Resistance fighters. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. May the Force be with you. Balmora? Locate the Resistance on Balmora? Warren Sidoru, your former, your fellow strike team member, explained that your objective on Balmora is to secure a cloaking device prototype with the help of the local resistance. Warren recently received a distress call from a nearby resistance medical facility. Save the resistance hospital set up near Farnell Outpost in Bugtown to gain the resistance's trust Bugtown. What? Oh, and with this, we've probably got a whole bunch of side missions we can do, I imagine. Maybe, maybe, if we're here that long. Yep, there is something here. 
I'm sorry to detain you, Master Jedi, but this is an emergency. We're trying to break an Imperial occupation on Balmora, but the Republic's got no ground, no resources, and right now, no chance. The Republic's made up of worlds that didn't have a chance. History hasn't exactly been repeating itself lately. The stakes are too high here. Balmoran factories produce the most powerful weapons in the galaxy. Possess them, win any war you want. The Republic must retake Balmora, but we need reinforcements. Is Balmora a complete war zone? We've managed to make a beachhead in a place called Bugtown that the Empire overlooked. Commander Maydine requested all reinforcements see him at Republic headquarters. Can he expect you? I believe the Empire's worn out their welcome. From the stories I hear, I think the Balmoran people would agree. I'll inform the Commander. You'd better get on board. Good luck. Getting on board, Lieutenant? Bugtown? No wonder they ignore it. It's a place called Bugtown. I ain't gonna look in Bugtown. Ah, oh, damn it, you too quick. Codex. Codex, Codex, Codex. Bugtown. Once a genetic research facility called Lab 352, this complex became known as Bugtown after the colicoids, mutated insects, insectoids used as experimental bioweapons, were released from the facility by Imperial saboteurs. The colicoids took over the area surrounding the laboratory and began to infest the rest of the planet. Republic forces have managed to retake the old laboratory, clearing out the colicoids and establishing a forward outpost. While much of the colicoid infestation remains, the population has been contained by the Imperial and Republic fighting. For now, the Republic can keep its unorthodox base. Uh, and there was also... A guy I just met. Warren? Warren Sedoru, a knight. Warren Sedoru was already one of the most acclaimed Jedi Knights of the Order when the M when the Sith Empire attacked the Republic at Korriban. He was one of the first Jedi to lead a counterattack against Imperial forces and scored several early victories against them. The price of these triumphs were high, however. Records indicate Warren was critically injured over a dozen times in battles from Alderaan to Yavin 4, although he survived these near deaths without need of cybernetic replacement parts, Warren's connection to the Force began to diminish. When the Republic signed the Treaty of Coruscant, Warren dedicated himself wholeheartedly to peace. He gave up his rank as Jedi Knight and became a Padawan to Master Tol Braga. Wow. Flashpoint Tarot 5? Stand by for examination and suggested product. Wow, my, my bags. My goodness. It's a lot of stuff to sort through. One oh four ninety eight ninety eight You are fit for duty. Return to your post. I gotta get I gotta get that green goo. Gotta have it. Jeez, all this stuff here. Report your ailments. Right, you a little bit better. Duty. Return to your post. Okay, so Balmora. From the wreckage. Speak to Commander Medine over there. Lives in the balance. Is over there. Alright, before we do that, let's go and chat to this guy though. Is that some kind of native animal? Fagutajiotoendiya. 
Maguli ji want the hompa. Muli ra want the hompa. Wasta mi cha kol kuka tu maji. Ta us hagwa upa. Why don't you let me deal with this? Faguta ji oto endia. I'm a Jedi. This is what we're here for. Nira disa slimo crispa to danki kung ke kupa. Chapuku otum gisa, chobod i kafu anchawa. Good luck out there. Well, if you join me out there as well, we could do this together. Let's see, they're just over here, so let's get that sorted out first. Colocoid Hunters. We're looking for the Alpha. Oh man, look at that stinger. It's one hell of a stinger. So we got one stinger. It's a lot of hunters, I need a patriot. Hunter? Some whelps and a patriarch. Stage two. Destroy colocoid. Colocoid eggs. Well, I'll be glad to do that as soon as I find another patriarch. Maybe we're gonna get over this bridge. There's one. And I see the egg. You live. There it is. Right, let's get rid of that egg there. the two stingers. Now I just need one more patriarch, one more egg. What the? 
<laughs> what the heck was that? Why is somebody dancing over there? It's a distraction. Return to the sergeant, not before I get that other egg though. Been an egg there. There's one. Destroy colocoid nests. Aha. Uh -huh. This guy's coming for us. You gonna give up? So the thing that blew up was one nest. And there's two more along the way. Oh, damn it. Dead, dead, dead. Should be okay. There's one. There's one there, and there's one a little bit closer. Good as new. Good as new. That's a Sarge. Where's the last one? Oh, it's over there. May as well see this through. <laughs> 